Okay, hello again. Uh, you know, I removed this uh, variable frequency oscillator chassis already. But after I did it, I said, you know, I should have filmed how I did that. That was kind of dumb of me. So I kind of stuck it all back in there, and I'm going to go through the procedure again. So those of you who might someday need to remove one uh, will know how to do it. First thing you do is uh, you take a screwdriver and you stick it down into these holes uh, on this big knob here. There's two of them, one there and one there, and you loosen up the set screws and the knob will come off. Piece of cake. The next thing you do is uh, remove the tube from the top and uh, put it away in a box somewhere. Just don't let it lay around. I'm going to stick it in an old, uh, in this uh, old 50X. Uh, six box that I have laying around here. I'm going to go ahead and seal it up there and keep that thing safe. Okay. Got the knob off, got the tube out. Next thing you do is, is unplug this uh, uh, RCA connector from the rear. It, it, you'll see it, it. It connects on right there. Just unplug it. And then, of course, you've got three wires. One, two, three that need to be desoldered. The orange one is in the middle. I labeled these things so I wouldn't forget where it's at. Uh, o for orange, BR for brown, which is this brown wire uh, right here. And uh, that just leaves the striped wire. So since I already know where the orange and brown one goes, the striped wire has to go there. Okay? All right. Get back up with the camera here a little bit. Maybe you can get a better view. This will be brown, orange, I mean the... Uh, RCA connector, brown, orange, and stripe, the striped wire. Then take off the uh, the light bulb. Uh, there's a screw. This thing is mounted on by a bracket through a screw right here on the side. Right there. Now, you want it on this way. That way it puts the light in the center of the, uh, of the dial scale right here. When I first got it, it was way over here someplace. And I said, man, that sucks. You know, let's just move that baby over there. So I repositioned it. And you remove that screw. And uh, incidentally, this is the screw right here. Just a little old short machine screw. And then just kind of move your light out of the way. The next thing you have to do is remove these two screws in the front. These two uh, horizontal screws. And uh, what they'll do is loosen this entire mechanism just get them right out of there you don't loosen them you actually remove them take them right on out get a better screwdriver here take them right on out they're really tiny so be careful those things will fall out of the floor they'll bounce around you'll never find them I've already had that happen a couple of times and to this day I don't know where the screws or the washers went they're gone somewhere to the great washer or screw uh, place in the sky I don't know we sweep we I've used magnets I've done everything vacuum and then went through the bag and it's still and nothing you know <laughs> where those things go is beyond me anyway throw everything in a plastic bowl you know keep keep it uh, away from everything else kind of separate when you're working on just this radio don't mix it in with anything else okay now after you get these two screws out you'll have to take your screwdriver and down in here are two set screws. Here's one right here. And then you'll have to turn the dial knob on the front until the other one comes around where we, you can see the second one. Let me see if I can get it up there. Okay, there you are. The two set screws. You've got uh, one there and one down in here on the brass collar. Once you loosen them and you've got these two front screws out, this entire mechanism will come right off in your hand. Okay? All right, no problem. Okay, all you got to do now is disconnect the uh, four uh, nuts and star washers off the four. There's two legs over here that go through the chassis, and two legs that go through here over in over the chassis, uh, down through the chassis rather. And these are the uh, star washers and nuts, and you should have you should have four washers, and you should have four, I mean four nuts rather, and you should have four star washers, okay? And once you loosen up those four, you'll have to flip the entire unit over, of course, to get to them, and uh, you'll find them, and once you get, once you get the four nuts, kind of hard doing this with one hand, the other trying to film, once you get that done, you carefully 
just kind of grab the entire unit like this kind of back sort of back it out at an angle and the entire thing will come off in, in your hand slick huh nothing to it piece of cake <laughs> Take our knob, put it in there too. Okay, that's it. We've got all the parts in a bowl. Now, let me show you what I found. As it turned out, the phenolic strip he was talking about on the, uh, let's see if I can get this in a light where we can see it. He was talking about the phenolic strip right here. These, This thing right here. Well, guess what? It's not broken at all. Not a bit. What they broke off was the tabs. Now, let me get the book. I'll show you what the tabs look like. Okay, these are the tabs. Here's one right here. You can see it right there. And that, that would swing around over here and, and hit that bar and stop it in it that direction. And this other one uh, comes down from underneath and stops it from the bottom direction. So this tab, these two stop tabs, metal tabs, have been totally cut out. They were cut completely out with a pair of cutters. And what that does is enable the same thing. That it enables the... the uh, a variable tuner to go beyond its limits in both directions. But I don't know if you can see it, but right there is where they chopped out one of those one of those stop tabs. Incidentally, I don't have a capacitor checker, uh, but I did check all of the resistors in here. Uh, there's a 470 k ohm resistor that's down here on this. Uh, I don't know if you can see where my finger's at right there, but. Uh, the 470k resistor uh, was reading, I think it was 130k uh, too low. So I went ahead and took it out and uh, it's stuck a, a brand new uh, carbon comp resistor in there. Okay, I uh, found an assembly, a complete assembly uh, on the internet that a guy sells. And Heathkit Supply Parts House of some kind. He wants 29 bucks plus shipping, uh, but he does it in a cool way. He says, look, tell me what you want. I'll tell you if I actually have it. And I'll get back with you with an email. And if I do have it, I'll give you the shipping charges. And then we'll just work out the cost of it. Plus the shipping charges, you pay me, I send you the assembly. I told him, look, uh, I'd like to have just the uh, tuner, the uh, variable tuner, variable capacitor. But if all you have is the, uh, is the entire assembly, I'll go ahead and take it. But anyway... That's my problem. They took a pair of cutters and, and cut those tabs off, you know, which is okay. I mean, it was his radio. The guy could do what he wants. And being a military man, he was into that Mars auxiliary, uh, I mean, military auxiliary uh, radio system. You had to have a, uh, you had to have a ham radio operator's license to get into that and to utilize it. And uh, they kept this frequency secret, and I think to this day they're secret. They don't want a bunch of people getting in there and messing up their Mars military uh, traffic that goes through there. So that's where we sit right now. I'm waiting for a reply. One of you fellers, uh, I noticed on the response, I did a quick review of the responses. One of you fellers uh, said that you might be able to get me one of these. Uh, hold off until I get an input back from the other fella and I really do appreciate you even offering to do that that was very nice of you very cool very uh, upstanding kind of person thank you okay let's see what happens I bet you farewell, well arrivederci sayonara and all that sort of cheers <laughs>